what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome back to the Suits Showcase. In this video we'll be covering the coats category, uh, we're going through all of them, there's seven overall. I'm going to show you each suit and I'm going to show you uh, and tell you and explain how to get each one of them and go through the descriptions of each one of them as well. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, I think there's, like I said, there's uh, seven suits overall to show. I'm going to be showcasing them in Paris on the catwalk as usual. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first one on the list is the classic cut long coat suit with gloves. So looks pretty good, looks pretty cool, looks very comfortable. Uh, it's, a cla it's a practical yet stylish long wool jacket in tasteful grey with matching grey pants. Dark turtleneck sweater underneath and matching gloves. I don't think this is a grey jacket, it looks uh, green to me. What do you think in the comments guys? It looks green to me. But yeah, you unlock this by uh, reaching mastery level 20 in Dartmoor. So, complete all the load of challenges on Dartmoor, reach mastery level 20, and you'll be able to unlock this suit and use it across all the maps. It looks very comfortable, doesn't it? Second on the list is the number six with gloves. You might have first recognize this by Lucas Gray wearing it uh, quite early in the game. And the first time 47 wears it is in Berlin without the glove area. But with the gloves, you need to reach mastery level 20 in Berlin and you'll be able to unlock this suit and you need to use it across any map. The description is, for the man who likes to keep warm in style, this outfit consisting a dark coat, black tail neck, boots and gloves to match is perfect to dazzle your targets with sheer elegance. And uh, it is quite nice, it looks a bit thin though the material looks a bit thin on it don't know how it can keep that warm if it's that thin but yeah overall pretty good especially in the rain you should try it in the rain in Chongqing it looks pretty good the next suit is the neon city suit with gloves so in the dry it doesn't look that great in comparison to what it looks like in the rain it really does uh, shine literally in the rain in Chongqing it looks pretty good uh, it's a highly stylish yet very practical blue raincoat with a popped collar for extra protection and flare over black pants accompanied by a light shirt a red tie and some practical gloves so you unlock this by reaching mastery level 20 in Chongqing and uh, you'll be able to use it across all the maps but it does look best in that map because of the rain. Uh, the rain just adds so much to this coat. Looks much, much better there. Next on the list is the New Yorker with gloves. And uh, this is the, the first one on this list that I don't actually really like uh just doesn't suit 47 in my opinion uh you might have noticed this the first time in new york of course going to by the name you unlock it by reaching mastery level 20 in new york but it kind of looks like my nan's coat my nan's raincoat so uh, it's not sort of thing that's uh i think it suits 47 especially when it's all done up especially with the belt and everything as well it's a true classic this double-breasted trench coat is the ideal fit for a demanding big city assassin Stylish, timeless, and practical. This gloves version fits every situation. Apparently. I disagree. Number five is the winter suit. So everyone is probably striving to get this. It's a very coveted award uh, in uh, Hitman 3. And basically, it's a tailored winter suit with tr uh, French cuff shirt and a muted burgundy tie, bespoke merino uh, wool coat with black leather gloves. I don't know if I've pronounced that word correctly. Is it merino or merino? Don't remember. But anyway, you can put, you unlock this by completing the Silent Assassin Elusive Target 2. So what it means by that is you have to get five Silent Assassins on across five different Elusive Targets. So 
get Silent Assassin and five different loads of targets, you'll unlock this suit in Hitman 3. But there is another variant of this suit I'm going to show you in a second. This is the Black Winter suit, and I guarantee you most of you probably have never seen this before. It's probably the rarest suit in the entire series. And to get this, you need to have completed an elusive, basically successfully complete any elusive target contract in Hitman 1. I then transfer it over to Hitman 2. I then transfer Hitman 2 to Hitman 3. And that's how you can use this suit in Hitman 3, because it was a, a reward in Hitman 2 transferred over to Hitman 3. It's a stylish black suit woven with the finest wool, complemented by a white shirt and a crimson tie, worn under a dark long coat, adorned with a simple pin. Exclusive and highly fashionable with gloves and black leather gloves. I don't think you can unlock this anymore unless there's, there's another way of doing it. It's impossible. So, this is a very exclusive suit. Last on the list is the Snow Festival suit. So you might recognise this one in a recent video of mine. So uh, it's actually as easy as basically completing the Snow Festival bonus mission in Hokkaido. So it's a classic stylish black winter coat, sure to keep you warm on cold winter nights, but also says carefree and always ready for apriski. Ap ap it says apriski. I don't know what the hell that means. But uh, yeah, this is the Snow Festival suit, so uh, I quite like it on the coldish maps. So in, when I go to Hokkaido, it's, this is the sort of suit I tend to tend to wear, because uh, it just fits the map, you know. But yeah, I quite like it. Snow Festival suit, that is, uh, that is that. This is the complete coat category, completely finished. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you've missed any videos, suit videos so far, after these credits are finished rolling, there will be a link on the screen of the full playlist of suits showcase videos. If you missed any, I've already covered the classics category and the formal category, so you can check that out if you'd like. So thank you, thank you very much for watching the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.